At least 64 people have been killed in tribal violence in the northern highlands of Papua New Guinea, according to media reports, with one police officer describing the killings as the largest in the Pacific nation's recent history. Citing police, reports stated the killings began at dawn on February 18th in the Wapanamanda district of the NDA province. They involved the Ambulan and Sikkin tribes as well as their allies, it said. Police stated that they retrieved some 64 bodies from the roadside, grasslands and hills of Wapanamanda by February 19 morning. Rival factions used high-powered guns, such as AKK-47 and M4 rifles in the battles, reportedly. The death toll is expected to rise, it added. The violence involved the same tribes that were responsible for clashes that killed 60 in Enga province last year. George Kakas, a senior officer in the country's police force, said that this was by far the largest killing I've seen in Enga, maybe in all of the Highlands as well, in Papua New Guinea. He added that all are devastated, everyone is mentally stressed out. As per reports, police received graphic videos and photos from the scene, showing stripped and bloodied bodies lying by the side of the road and piled up on the back of a flatbed truck. Also, the military has deployed about a hundred troops to the area, but that their impact has been limited, with the security services remaining outnumbered and outgunned. Escalating tribal conflict, often over the distribution of land and wealth, led to a three-month lockdown in NGA last July during which police imposed a curfew and travel restrictions. In August last year, the violence made international headlines after graphic footage involving three dead men circulated online. Governor for Enga province, Peter Ipatas, stated that there had been signs that fighting was about to erupt again, ahead of the ambush. With up to 17 tribes involved in the most recent escalation, it was ultimately up to the security forces to keep the pace, he said. Security more broadly remains a key concern for the country. The government last month declared a state of emergency after major rioting and looting left at least 15 people dead. Papua New Guinea is a diverse developing nation of 10 million people with 800 languages in a strategically important part of the South Pacific. Internal security has become an increasing challenge for its government, as China, the United States, and Australia seek closer security ties. Australian Prime Minister Anthony Albanese said his government was ready to assist Papua New Guinea, which is Australia's nearest neighbor and the largest single recipient of Australian foreign aid. Tribal violence in the Enjo region has intensified since elections in 2022. That maintained Prime Minister James Marop's administration. Elections and accompanying allegations of cheating and process anomalies have always triggered violence throughout the country.